So in about two weeks, well in exactly two weeks, we have to leave this apartment and move into our van. And we still have some work to do, but I think we'll get it done. Mm -hmm. we'll, we'll be able to make the van livable and I guess once we're in there we can still do like little... Some final touches. Final touches, and, yeah. yeah. We actually have no idea where we're going. <laughs> we're just so focused on getting the thing finished that uh, we haven't really thought about where, where we're going to go. I think today or yesterday Italy opened up their borders and uh, invites tourists in. Uh, you only need a negative COVID test, I think. And who knows in two weeks what changes, like everything changes every few weeks. So since we don't have any idea where we want to go because we basically want to see everything, we decided why not try. <laughs> a European country randomizer online. <laughs> okay. uh, that doesn't look like all the Euro are, are that all the European No, we're talking about it. <laughs> uh, Turkey! Turkey. <gasps> what? Okay, that really sounds cool. So I guess we're heading to Turkey. <laughs> Okay, so while Steve is working on the electricity, I'm going to start on the window covers because we want, obviously we want to have some privacy and at night when we have the lights on, we don't want people to be able to look inside and also a lot of the heat and cold can come in through the windows. So we want to create something that also works as the insulation. So our plan is to create them our, uh, ourselves because you can buy custom-made window covers but they're super expensive so we're gonna try and create them ourselves so we're gonna add a layer of this heat reflecting foil and uh, that goes on the outside so when the Sun hits it it radiates back I guess and then we're gonna add a layer of thin insulate which is a type of insulating fabric I guess and then add uh, an extra layer of fabric just to finish it off to make it pretty uh, so I'm gonna try and create a template right now if there's one piece of advice we can give you if you want to convert a van yourself be sure you have a space indoors where you can work because the weather is a freaking pain in the ass all the freaking time and it's been raining all week and now it's super windy and this thing just flew away into a huge puddle so it's soaking wet now <sighs> Yeah, yeah, just, that's, just that's, that's all I wanted to say. So I basically have to create a template of the window. Uh, I've seen a lot of people using um, just sheets of paper or baking paper or tin foil. I tried using some leftover paper that we had, wrapping paper, um, but it was pretty wrinkly and it didn't feel like it was gonna work. So I just used a reflective foil uh, straight away and just cut it a bit bigger than it's supposed to be and I just discovered it's pretty thin so it just fits right behind the window like this. and I can basically just draw the outline with a pen
so we basically have no idea how much the van weighs. Uh, we've just been building. Yeah, we've been choosing materials that were just thick enough. Trying to stay under the weight limit, basically. But yeah. we have no idea if we succeeded no or not. But by chance, the local police organized a um, weighing day, I guess, uh, for camper vans today. So that's what we're doing right now. Um, <laughs> fingers crossed. I have no idea. Uh, if the van's already too heavy and it's not even done yet <laughs> oh, well, We're gonna have a problem because we have to move out of our apartment in a week <laughs> and um, So the police officer just said that we can put an additional 500 kilos in the van That's not bad. I mean we still have to put in our fridge and our water tanks and our uh, bikes so at least 100 kilos is going yeah, at least. It's at least. So, but we also have a lot of wood in there that mm -hmm. we're probably gonna get rid of. So, um, yeah. I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be okay too. Usually, we work on the van at my dad's place in his yard uh, because we work live in, uh, because we live in an apartment complex. But we decided to bring it over to fit in the fridge, so we don't have to take it in our car to my dad's place. Um, well, we kind of messed up. <laughs> yeah, so there used to be a shelf here to uh, separate the uh, cupboard space from where the fridge goes. But uh, <laughs> in my calculations, I forgot to account for this raised area here that uh, allows for like air to flow under the fridge so everything can stay nice and cool. So we ended up having like five centimeters too little space, <laughs> basically. So yeah, we had to take out the shelf. Uh, <laughs> had to use some hard measures to do so. The shelf was fixed into this panel from the side and then we put the kitchen unit up against that so I was unable to get to that screw. So yeah, we just basically had to destroy the shelf. We can salvage it though. I just glued it with some uh, wood glue and <laughs> hopefully it's good to go. But we have a fridge. Look at it. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Our apartment is almost empty. Last few days have been very stressful, so we haven't filmed a lot. We actually have to make sure our apartment is empty by tomorrow morning. Empty and clean. And yesterday there was still a lot of stuff in here. There's still quite a bit of stuff in here, but mm -hmm. we're getting there. Uh, we have our van parked in front of the building, so we can start moving everything over to it. We yeah. actually moved some of our clothes into it yesterday and then uh, found out that the drawer space that we uh, provided fills up very quickly. <laughs> yes, and we have a lot of clothes yeah. and we donated we have to be a lot. Maybe a little bit more picky about what we, yeah. what we bring and what not. But uh, yeah, it'll be an interesting experience, say Yeah, okay. Let's continue. Wouldn't it be cool if you just like you clap your hands and everything would be done? Do you want to try and edit that? No. <laughs> I don't even want to remember to... Yeah, have to do this. Yeah. Whatever, we'll just... We'll just... <laughs> it's not working. are too big. <laughs> so uh, we're still installing some uh, shelves. Very last minute work. We just want to make sure that everything fits. <sighs> it is currently 11 p.m. And we're still going at it. We have so much stuff. It's crazy how much stuff you collect over the years. But we're getting there. How's it going, Steve? Uh, it's going all right. Still have some, some work to do. Yeah. Uh, it's getting late. We're gonna sleep here, by the way. Our last night on this mattress. Good morning guys, 
It is about 8 a.m. Um, we went to bed yesterday, I don't know, by 2 a.m. Uh, so it was a pretty short night, but it's still not 100% done. We still have to clean. But yeah, we have two hours before it has to be ready, so. The van is full of stuff. We tried to do it in a structured way. We started uh, filling up our van in a structured way, but after a while we just started threw in our stuff um, because we were running out of time. And now our future home was just one big mess. We just moved out of our apartment and this is what our new home looks like right now. We have to sleep in this tonight. It's just full of stuff. I'm so tired. Yeah, we're so tired and we have to um, go to two birthday parties today. <sighs> just want to sleep. <laughs> All right, so we just went to the apartment to pick up the last of our stuff. So we're officially moved out of that place. We're done with that. We're back at my dad's place uh, with a van and a car full of stuff. And oh God, and there's so much dust in my camera. I'm sorry for that. Sorry about that. But yeah, we have to be ready in an hour to go to a family get together. We don't have running water yet so I'm gonna use my dad's shower for now but first I have to find my stuff. My clothes and my fresh underwear and everything. <laughs> Look at this. We have to sleep here tonight. Our drawers uh, keep opening up when we're driving around so we do have some lock systems that we want to install but we haven't done that yet so back, back to basics I'm brushing my hair outdoors I feel like we're back in Australia yeah living out of our especially car. since it's so sunny outside yeah. today look at this smart guy smart guy you look smart we just got back from the second birthday party and it is currently almost 9 p.m. This is our home. <laughs> We're gonna spend a little time cleaning some things up um, and then we're gonna have our first night in the van, I guess. We are settled in for for the night. There's still a lot of mess, but we can walk through our hallway, I guess, or something. And we have a bed. Ta-da! And do you fit? Yeah, I do. Uh, well, I actually put um, this here <gasps> since we're sitting up at the moment. But without this, I can fit perfectly. Nice. And now it's time for a midnight snack, maybe, from our luxurious fridge. Ooh, that's bright. <laughs> we have some oat milk, mayonnaise, <laughs> peanut butter, we have some ginger. Mm. 